To build an Instasite, select a template from the Templates tab. Then click on Build Instasite. The first task to complete is to select the data source. The Instasites app will gather the necessary data from your business contacts from this source. You have two options to choose. Use your contacts directly from your contacts app or upload a CSV file directly. If you elect to use a CSV file, ensure that it is formatted correctly. You can download a CSV template to see what it looks like by clicking this link. Here is our CSV template. Take note of the required fields, the business name, phone, email, city, and state, and also the person's name, email, and phone. As a note, the template file signifies required fields with an asterisk. Do not include these asterisks when uploading your values. This is simply used to help you differentiate which values are required and which are optional. Select your option and then click continue. Regardless of the data source you use, you should arrive at a new screen which features a table of your contacts that looks like this. Then you can select the business that you want to build the Instasite for by clicking the box next to the name. You can edit a contact by clicking this button here. If you cannot find your business contact, you can create a new one by clicking New Business. Check the box, then click Continue. Next, you can choose whether or not you want to send notifications to the contact regarding their new Instasite build. You can send an email, SMS message, both, or none at all. For this demo, we will send both. Then click Continue. If you choose to send notifications, you will need to select a person contact associated with the business. You can see how many people contacts you have associated by looking at this number here. We can see that we have one, zero out of one contact selected that are associated with this business. You can add a person by hovering over the business and clicking this button, or you can edit an existing contact by hovering over the person and clicking this button. To select a contact, check the box here, then click continue. Now you will set up your notifications. This will look familiar if you've utilized contacts, templates, Insta sites, or Insta reports. Select your email, set a reply to email if necessary, then enter your subject line, then enter your message. As an important note with Instasites, the personalized field has a section exclusively for Instasites. This includes all of the person's business information and more importantly, their Instasite preview link. Otherwise, you can click Use Template to utilize a pre-existing template from the Templates app. If you want to add a file, click Attach and select your file. You can also save this email as a new template by clicking this button here. When you're satisfied, click Continue. Repeat this process for your SMS message. Select your phone number, enter your message, or select the template, or save this as a new template. Remember that when sending SMS notifications, you will utilize one account credit for every 160 characters. Then click Continue. Finally, you will see a summary of all the actions you've taken. We are using one Instasite credit, one email credit, and one SMS credit from our available balances. If this looks correct, click Continue once more. Congratulations, the process was completed successfully. It's safe to close now. Now you're at the My Instasites tab. You can see that your new website is currently queued. 
you will receive a notification when the process is complete.